Good morning and welcome back. I like to say hello and thank you to all the new subscribers and a very big thank you as always to the continued supporters of the channel. Well, today is it. Hopefully it's going to be completed today. Yesterday was a great day as well. I got all the gaskets and oil seals to rebuild the final drive of the Farmall M and I've got everything out ready to go. They are supposed to be here anytime to finish sandblasting this and I can get back in there and start getting some of this going. Uh, but it will be a little bit because I've got the me and all the excitement and stuff. I forgot to order the glip tall. I've got to coat the inside of the transmission up underneath the transmission plate and inside the bell housing and inside the rear axles so it's going to be a little bit before i get this going but we have plenty of other stuff to do so with that being said we're going to uh go inside i've had the all the hardware soaking to uh, the original hardware to put the axles back on the tractor so i'm in there uh getting them ready to go so i can sandblast them and once everything is done, I just put the bolts back in and then we sandblast, uh, sorry, then we prime it as a whole. And it would be a lot easier to do it that way than priming it, putting it together, making a mess of things. So we're waiting on them to get here. So as always, thank you and uh, we'll pick back up as soon as they get here. We'll see you then. Okay. Thank you for staying tuned. Here we are, uh, bell, how bell housing, and he did a really nice job of cleaning everything inside for me. I just got to get a little bit of the sand out where I brought it in, no big deal. Axle housings are done, look really good. Uh, I do have to clean here. I didn't want to media blast here because I did not want to get sand into the bearings. Uh, center hubs done he even went inside and and hit in here real good for me uh like i said I, I can't complain with the service really good service so let's walk out here and forgive the wind noise transmission case looks really good so i got a little cleaning to do the sand got in there where he got up under here for me um so that's done Motor's done, looks good. I'm going to do this myself in the blast cabinet because it's kind of hard to hold that and hit it with high pressure. So, but everything looks good on the motor. The lower bolster, I mean upper bolster is done. Looks really good. Now I can get these bolts that are broke off in there, I can get them out. And the lower bolster, all right, looks really good. It's nice to see that old metal shine again. So, uh, but there is going to be some repair right here. These are worn. They're supposed to be nice and they're supposed to be about a quarter of an inch. This one is not. So we're going to build this up with weld and fix those on both sides. So, but anyway, I'm going to stop here for now. I've got to clean up all this mess and get this stuff in because it looks like it's going to rain. It's not supposed to till tomorrow, but we're not going to take that chance with this bare metal. So let me get this stuff up and get in and then we'll come back. Stay tuned. All right, here we are. We're still moving forward with the parts for the Farmall M. And it's a good thing moving forward because I actually have floor space again. We're getting there. Uh, the lower bolster has been uh, sprayed with acid and cleaned inside and I've wiped it with a wax and grease remover to try and neutralize the acid. I've cleaned inside but it needs a little bit more. All the bulk, broken bolts have been taken. I've got those out of the bolster so we're good. Um, those I still need to do work so but that's it. Uh, Axle housings, they have been sprayed with a sandable rust inhibitor or rust kill. They said this is compatible with automotive paint. We'll see. I uh, did the same thing with the bolts. I did it on, uh, did the whole bolt and top and bottom all the way around. And I did both sides of the washer. 
This way, when I put the axle housings back in the transmission, or bolt them back up, then I've got a protective coating on both sides, so no rust. Axles are, have been cleaned and ready to go back together. We'll walk over here and check out the paint room. The brake band covers have been sprayed with a rubberized rust inhibitor or rust kill. There's the other one. I've got everything fixed on like we were talking about earlier. I've got all this done. I welded it, ground it down and put a little filler around it. Did the same thing with the welds here. And I did the other brake spring pin on this one as well. So we'll be good there. And this is cleaned, ready to go. Uh, inside is clean, ready for the uh, glip tall. I have both center hubs ready to go. They, everything just needs to be wiped down with a surface cleaner, the lower bolster. The dust covers have been removed. All the grease has been taken off or sandblasted off and cleaned. And it, like I said, uh, I got to say in this before we spray it with a gray primer and clutch adjustment rod. The seat mount bracket turned out really well. I'm pleased with it. Um, you can see maybe, let me get out of the light. I don't know if you can see the difference where it's a little flat in the middle. That's where the, the filler so, uh, soaked up the primer, but all that's got to be sanded and ready to go. Well, sanded before I prime it, so we'll be fine there. Can't forget the Super C, uh, good tractor. So anyway, that's it. Uh, a little quick update. I'm still moving forward. Uh, sorry for the video taking so long, but it's a long, slow process, and uh, I'm trying my best to get it done as soon as possible. Thank you, and we'll follow back up Saturday, which is my next day off, and hopefully all this will be in great primer, and we'll come back and check it out. So stay tuned for that. Good Saturday morning, and we're about ready to start spraying primer on some more Farmall M parts. Uh, but I'd like to address a couple questions that were brought up in the last short that I put out. The primer that I use is Nason Select Prime 2K, which is an activated urethane primer, which means it needs a hardener. So anyway, the number on the primer is 421-19. The hardener for the primer or activator is 48387. Now, when I said I sprayed the inside of the brake band covers with a rubberized coating, it's a chassis paint. So it has a little bit of rubber mixed into it to make it flexible, but it does dry to a pretty solid form. It's not a rubber form. And that is Duplicolor Rust Barrier. And the other, the Sandable Rust Killer is Rust Oleum Rust Performer. Now, um, like I said, it's the first time using both of these products. So we're gonna see how they work. Um, this being aerosol, uh, never wipe aerosols with a solvent cleaner. Uh, you can use water base, but what I use is a mixture of 90% uh, rubbing alcohol and 50% water. So that removes any grease, wax, and oils from your hands. So that does, uh, the alcohol and water mixture does really good. And especially I'll clean after I paint something and before I spray clear coat, I will clean it with the grease and wax remover. Then I go back over it with the alcohol and water because it reduces static so you don't have a lot of dust coming and going to your product or to your parts. So anyway, I'm gonna pause from here. I'm gonna get some primer mixed up and start getting this stuff in primer. And once we're done, we'll come back and look at it and end the video. So thank you again for following me so far, and we'll see you shortly.
All right, here we are at the end of the video. I would like to thank everyone for watching. And if you're new, welcome to the channel again. And thank you to the continued supporters of the channel. Okay, everything that was cast has four coats of primer on it. Looks really good. Um, it's gonna take a little bit longer to, to dry. It's dry to the touch, but I want it to cure, so I'm gonna let it sit overnight. But anyway, uh, everything looks good. I'm happy with it. Uh, like I said, four coats on everything cast. And that's it for uh, most of it. I think I've got the bolster, transmission case, and the front, um, front hubs. And I believe that's it. And everything will be in primer except for some of the few items that are in the, the smaller items that are in the container. So that's it. Uh, I'd like, as always, thank you for allowing me part of your day and we'll see you next time. And hopefully we'll be putting the transmission case back together. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video from Old Red Tractors.